I'm Everett Curdy, and in this video, I'm going to be talking to you about the South Node in Scorpio, North Node in Taurus placement in astrology. So, this is the official video that I am making about this topic, and there may be other videos, but um, this is what it means in the natal chart. Now, I was born with this placement, and um, the aspects and themes of it are more, um, you know, they pertain to me more, and um, they relate and matter to me more. Um, and, you know, right now, as I'm recording this video, the North Node is in Taurus and South Node is in Scorpio. So, um, a lot of the stuff that I'm talking about deals with, um, what is currently going on in the cosmos and, you know, in your own life, you may, um, relate and see these, um, themes playing out, um, and so, yeah, you know, that's just what I want to say for that. So, um, getting into it, um, the South Node and North Node. So let's start talking about these two points first. The South Node and North Node move together but they're 180 degrees apart from each other. They're not in the same sign. They're in opposite signs, but they travel together. And they transit each sign that they're moving through over the course of 18 months or so, 18 and 19 months. And it takes 18 to 19 years um, for them to travel back to a certain position or where um, your North Node and South Node is placed um, in your natal chart, um, you know, at the you know, degree that it's placed. And I have another video I, I made about the nodal return. You can go check that out. But these two points are really spiritual and really karmic. And another thing to note is they move retrograde, so they don't move forwards. And that is so profound in and of itself. But um, talking about, um, you know, this, you know, what they mean, the South Node is karma. It deals with what we're bringing in. It deals with our baggage. It also deals with wounds um, and a, an emotional memory of the past. Um, you know, we're sort of reincarnating in this life, and and that is controversial in terms of the people that believe in that. You know, your sadness really your early life. The themes and feelings and experiences and frequencies. Um, the frequencies that you're familiar with, that you're comfortable with, that you know in the sort of lessons and um, traits and ways of being that you have mastered to the point that your soul knows this so well, but that's not what you're coming in to this life to experience. You are coming in to move towards your North Node. And your North Node is opposite your South Node. And so you uh, need to balance with your South Node because we're not forgetting or abandoning the South Node. We are balancing it. 
and we can take the high version, you know, the high qualities of the South Node, you know, the higher octave expressions of the South Node sign, and we can take those qualities and move toward the North Node. Obviously, we're heading toward our North Node. We're moving up, or we're evolving, we're um, you know, moving further towards our destiny in this lifetime, but we're not, you know, forgetting, you know, where we need to drop down land and and come back, you know, inside ourselves and come back to what we're used to and to, you know, replenish and, you know, so it's a balancing act and, um, you know, just like the scales where we need to balance those scales. But the south node is karma. But if we keep going on the same path and we keep doing what we're used to doing because we're comfortable with it, then we're obviously going to hit a dead end. And we're not going to find that peace and that sense of meaning and purpose in our lives that we want to experience. Um, we're not going to feel that sense of reward. We're not going to feel that sense of goodness and um, wonder and and um, just um, you know sense of um, peace and um, tranquility inside ourselves. Um, if we continue to stay stuck in our self node, which is why you know I like to think we naturally move towards our north node because that's our soul and that's what our soul is calling for us to do our soul signed up to do these certain things you know develop these certain you know qualities these talents these skills these um you know do this you know go on this certain path and so that's what we're going to um move towards um but, um, you know, the North Node is, you know, a challenge. It's a stretch, uh, and it's a push, and it's not easy and not comfortable. But our soul is guiding us and pushing us, or not pushing us, but sort of coaxing us into that direction. If we follow our intuition and follow our inner guide, we can reach that North Node point, um, you know, and you know, fulfill our potential in this lifetime. Now, what does all this information mean when it comes to the South Node in Scorpio? Well, Scorpio, first of all, is a sign of death, of things dying away, of a metaphorical death, of the caterpillar moving away from the butterfly. Um, or the or the caterpillar becoming a butterfly, so there is this element of um, death, but then rebirth and transformation, which is you know the the you know the higher qualities of Scorpio, the more positive qualities of this sign. But it's important to note that with the South Node, we can look more at the shadow sides of the sign. Um, so it is both in both the south node and the north node. However, um, we can really look at those shadow qualities with that south node in that sign. So while Scorpio does have to do with you know empowerment and transformation and and being the phoenix that rises from the ashes and being really loyal and committed and you know determined all of those things. Scorpio deals with toxicity, toxic patterns from the past that we are trying to break that we, that just don't serve us. And um, during this transit of the South Node in Scorpio, I have really been trying to work through these patterns, these addictive patterns that I'm trying to heal. And, um, you know, with Scorpio, we can acknowledge 
those parts of ourselves that are vulnerable, that need bringing to light, that need um, the light to be shined onto them, for them to become conscious. And so Scorpio can deal with, um, you know, darkness of, um, of being pot, caught in, you know, power struggles and power games, but also you know, going back to the toxic patterns, um, you know, any, you know, addictive patterns. So, you know, someone coming in with the South Node in Scorpio, it's really important to look and acknowledge those patterns of what they're bringing in. Um, and so, um, you know, in order for, you know, that blocks them and that hinders them from experiencing peace, tranquility, being in the present moment, Taurus. Um, power struggles in a past life from that perspective. Um, the South Node and Scorpio person could have experienced a lot of power struggles with this person um, empower this binding contract or binding relationship where you were probably behind somebody in power and you were bonded to this person and that relationship was so intense and um, ultimately you know you you know depended on this person for um, you know, to evolve, to provide for your, um, you know, spiritual life, you know, your material life, um, where you really depended on this person to provide you with, uh, you know, the material needs, such as money, such as um, food, all these kinds of things. Um, and, you know, so much of that, and you try to, you know, gain that power, um, you know, and trying to, you know, be self-sufficient and be independent and all those kinds of things. But then maybe you were squished down and pushed down and you were sort of getting yourself into um, entanglement, into... Um, you know, just getting used to relying on another person um, and, you know, depending upon another person um, for your needs. And you were getting used to the energy of crisis because that's what the South Node in Scorpio also deals with, is being really familiar with crisis and trauma of losing things of having things all blow up in your face, of having all these resources that you took with you and then they were gone. So loss, um, being overpowered by somebody else, being overwhelmed by a situation also comes in here. Um, being sort of um, hurt by a sort of, you know, a dark art that you may have performed in a past life. Like maybe you might have been a detective or somebody who worked underground and underhand. Um, you, you know, you were keeping secrets. And, um, you know, Scorpio really wants to um, live a life of intensity and you need this life alive and all these kinds of things like that. And... Um, and, you know, so a lot of darkness and depths and being very familiar with the depths and the dark side um, and, you know, the dark aspects of this life and really, you know, being, um, you know, really attuned to, you know, manipulation and, um, you know, people, you know, doing things for these motives, how, you know, others treated you or, you know, how they want to take control, all these kinds of things. Um, jealousy is also a theme that relates to Scorpio. So, um, you know, that energy of uh, being very focused on uh, other people 
and, um, you know, how they are going about their life, um, you know, and so forth. And, um, and, um, how they, how, you know, other people would use people or, or, um, other things, um, you know, that's, uh, a very familiar energy. Um, so, you know, power struggles is a, um, you know, is a theme here where you would, um, you know, do these certain things or say these certain things to people to get what you need and want. Um, going through trauma and um, drama, experiencing it, there's a tendency to want to, um, want to bring back that drama, you know, the need for drama, the need for chaos, the need for conflict is, um, you know, really strong here, here. Um, and you may have been a power monger, who knows, um, you know, I don't want to make any, you know, assumptions here, um, and so, again, Scorpio deals with betrayal, um, and, um, and the tendency to create, uh, crisis is, um, it can be unconscious and it can be what you're used to. And so you're making efforts in this lifetime to break that and try to, um, nip that in the bud and become aware of when you may do that. Um, and, you know, again, seeking validation from other people instead of depending and relying on yourself. And, um, you know, also, again, uncovering truth, um, wanting to dig deep and getting to the bottom of things, um, and getting so caught in the spiritual world. But now, with the North Node in Taurus, we can focus on the material world, the tangible world of here and now. And that's what the North Node in Taurus is about. Taurus is a sign of stability, and so... During this lifetime, your destiny is to try to create stability, to try to make a life that is according to your own values and not other people's. It is a life that you can feel good about yourself of where things are moving in a really positive and productive direction. And not only that, but it's about cultivating um, patience and persistence of being determined, being focused on a goal and staying the course, being in it for the long term. And about slowing down. It's not about, you know, rushing and going after something with full-on intensity, which is Scorpio, because it wants to, you know, destruct things. Um, you know, it's very extreme once, you know, all or nothing energy. That's Scorpio. That's not Taurus. And so when you get caught in that compulsive and obsessive energy of Scorpio, you are moving further away from your north node and you're bringing back the shadow sides of the south node in Scorpio. And so with the north node in Taurus, it's time to settle down, slow down, be here now. What is around you that you um, you know, enjoy, you know, Taurus deals with the finer things in life. It deals with the simple pleasures. Anything that involves your five senses, you know, taste, touch, um, smell, uh, hear, and see. Um, you know, all those kind of experiences, you know, we're getting out in nature and, you know, getting grounded, um, and, um, I mean, you know, eating, you know, enjoying a nice meal or making, um, you know, a dish or looking at art or listening to music or, um, you know, just being where you are in the present moment and feeling what is around you and, you know, observing that and, um, you know, living in this present moment where 
you can find peace, where you can be grounded, where you can be centered. And so this is where the North Node in Taurus is asking you, um, is you're being called upon to align with your truth and to align with, you know, validating yourself, being in that state of self-worth and self-love. Because um, that's what Taurus deals with, of knowing that you are worthy of experiencing what is here and now and living the life and manifesting a, you know, a goal, um, you, you know, a desire that you have um, and going after, you know, e even a need that you have um, and doing it on your own and doing it independently, um, you know, and being self-sufficient, being uh, responsible and, you um, and all those kind of things and in whatever area of life that you know the house the because you know whatever house that you have the north node in taurus in your natal chart that's going to tell you where do you want to implement these qualities into your life um or where these north node qualities are going to show up in your life um and so there's a couple of themes, trusting yourself, um, trusting yourself to, you know, go in a positive direction, to move, to, um, you know, um, you know, go on the right path, um, and to go towards, um, fulfillment and, you know, self, you know, acceptance too is another thing and you know the feeling of inner peace and inner security finding time where you can um um be more peaceful and you know find that security um and maybe that may mean facing uncertainty in life and that's a part of life is um being okay with what is you know here now beyond what you can't change in you know, that whole serenity prayer god grant me the courage to change the things i can't can change courage or god grant me the serenity to accept the things i can't change the courage to change the things i can and then the willingness to know difference you know that can also apply here too um but um you know another thing you know living according to what's most important to you to what matters most to you not based of off you know not based off of what others need or you know want necessarily that isn't authentic to you um and you know, this also relates because Taurus is also the energy of money and so you can Live your own life and make a living. This also relates to making a living, getting, you know, making a living and getting simple, you know, getting into the simple aspects of your life where it doesn't have to be so complicated and so dramatic and so deep. Sometimes, you know, less is more, and sometimes we're moving towards the simple, and Taurus relates to the energy of simplicity. Um, you know, becoming more grounded, becoming more self-sufficient, um, and, um, yeah, um, you know, really putting yourself first in a healthy way and, um, yeah, validating yourself. So that is really what this placement is all about. I really hope that you enjoyed um, this video and found it um, informative, insightful, interesting, uh, entertaining, um, and I hope that you enjoy. You know, I probably said that before, <laughs> but anyway, bye for now, everybody. I'll see you in another video.